so speaking of LeBron, he recently set a record of the most all NBA selections of all time. So definitely big ups to him. Um, there is a game tonight, so I'm looking forward to see what's going on. It's game four. Um, right now, the Lakers is two and one. And so, yeah, I'm excited to see what they have. You guys know I'm in L.A. right now. So all day, all I see is Lakers gear everywhere. So that's the whole – That's it's just they go hard out here. It's much different than seeing the Knicks and the Nets stuff everywhere. It's, it's just Laker, uh, you know, city, obviously. So I'm excited to see. So wait, did, did, so they, they don't got no Clippers stuff out there? Because the Clippers I play. No. <laughs> no, I thought, oh, I see. I thought it was Kawhi Town now. No, it's not. Yo, no, <laughs> no, it's it's everywhere. Like you know, it just reminds me every day. Obviously, I'm in LA, but you know, it's dope. And it feels like the energy is everyone is on the same team. You know, like everyone here. And I feel like even if you're not from LA. You go hard for Lakers even being here. Yeah. So that's a fact. Shout out, shout out to Lakers. I think they uh I think they take uh game four. Game three was a was a rough one for them. They you know they, they let it get out of control. They they almost actually came back, but I think uh in 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 game four, we're gonna see the Lakers get back to dominance uh in the series and take a take a three one lead. Uh, I'm not saying I don't know if it's gonna end in 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 um in, in five. But I do think that the Lakers uh, win Game Four. Um, you know, LeBron. Mm-hmm. LeBron was a little tight. The team was a little tight because LeBron ain't been getting them foul calls that that, that he's used to. Uh, so they, they had they did write a letter to the league to uh, to stress that issue. You know, there was a little bit of disparity disparity between them. But I mean, Anthony Davis is still getting those those uh, attempts at the line too. So it kind of balanced out. But I think I think the Lakers bounce back tonight. Uh, you always need a, a, a one of those losses like that is a wake up call, and uh, LeBron understands what's at stake here. You don't want to give a team like Denver any type of life. Uh, we saw what happened against the Clippers when the Clippers gave them life and didn't close out that series when they had their foot on uh, on their necks, and they should have. Um, so I think LeBron is not is not going to play around to, uh, in Game Four. I think he's coming to to, to work. And I think they take a three-one series lead. Yeah, I um, I mean, first of all, the Lakers are the last team to complain about not getting the calls. They got all the calls in Game One and Game Two, and they just so happen not to really get them in Game Three. Well, no, no, not uh, LeBron, not LeBron. LeBron hasn't I mean, been to the foul line like that. Listen, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the narrative that LeBron is a crybaby, but he does at times kind of pander to the refs and try to, you know, leverage his his star power. But every superstar um, does that. Not the way he does it. But anyway, again, that's not to knock LeBron because, uh, you know, I, I think he he's still an amazing player. And I think they have the inside track to go to the finals. As I picked before the series, I had the Lakers in six. But I think Denver actually wins tonight. I think Denver has actually outplayed them the last two games. They had a chance to win game two, if not for Anthony Davis's buzzer beater. Uh, they completely outplayed him in game three, aside from a run that the Lakers put together late in that game to make it close. And I think Denver has figured some things out. And as you mentioned, Anthony Davis is going to get his. Denver has nobody who could stop him. But Denver's focusing on taking away the role players. And they're not, they're not allowing the role players to get in a rhythm that could possibly beat them. So I think Denver wins tonight. And I think they tie the series up 2-2. Um, and then from there, we'll, we'll see what you know Frank Vogel can come up with and, and what adjustments he can make to get the Lakers back on track. But I think after the tonight, the series will be tied. I actually would prefer that. I feel like it would make for a more exciting series um, for them to to have that tie. And I think I think LeBron does excellent under pressure, so I think that would make the next couple of games more exciting. Nah, I want them to close it out. You can't take no chances with a team like Denver. We saw what happened with that with the other team that I was asking you if they was repping out there in LA. Uh, they were up three games to one, and they let Denver come back and win three games straight. One thing about Jamal Murray is when he gets hot, it's it's hard to stop that that young man from doing what he wants to do. We saw it against Utah. We saw it against the Clippers. We saw it in uh, game three against the, the Lakers. So you cannot give a team like Denver any extra. Like they, they, Denver is basically – Playing with house money from, from even from the, from the last round against the Clippers, they've been playing with house money because no one expects them 
to to beat no one expects them to beat the Clippers. No one expects them to beat the Lakers. So if you take your foot off the gas and you let Jamal Murray get hot, because we already know what uh, Jokic is going to do. Jokic has pretty much been consistent throughout the entire playoffs. Jamal Murray is the is the one where he'll have the he'll have a 40, 50 point game. Then he might have an 18 point game. So if you let him get into a rhythm, you let him get hot, and you let them you let them win games that you should just take easily, then it, it can be a problem. So I don't I don't want to see no extra games. Let's get this game, get game four, and then be looking to close out in uh in, in game five. Yeah, I do agree with you on that point. Jamal Murray is so streaky that if he gets hot. The last thing you want is again for the for the Nuggets to be in range to win the series. You want to try to jump out as far as you can mm-hmm. and play, enforce and play catch up, which they're comfortable doing. But again, when he's hot, there is nobody who could stop him. He's shown that throughout the playoffs. When he gets going, he is unstoppable. So, if you're the Lakers, you definitely want to want to um, get up on these guys now. You want to jump up on them. You don't want to give them that extra motivation. But I think Denver's playing with a lot of confidence, and I think the way they lost Game One for them to bounce back and play game two and game three the way they did, that bodes well for them moving forward. They're, they're a young upstart team. They understand that this is a big moment for them, and they also understand that they can't afford to go down 3-1 to the Lakers the way they did against the other teams um, if they want to advance. So I expect them to come out strong again tonight. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk.